top 10 cringy Camilla moments that showed her real character. Number 10, be scare. This caught on camera moment should be definitely labeled awkward. While on a trip to New Zealand, Camilla Parker Bowles and Prince Charles made a number of stops at important locations, all in order to soak in the gorgeous New Zealand culture. Well, things didn't exactly go to plan while they were meeting a Tuatara reptile. Let's explain. As noted by Sky News, the royal couple visited the Oroko Nui Eco Sanctuary in the South Island near Dunedin. While at the sanctuary, they got up close and personal with a little lizard-like creature and from the photos, they seemed both enthralled and repelled. But things went sort of downhill. As the couple were intrigued by the little guy, a bumblebee did a straight dive towards Camilla who swatted the buzzing creature away. So what did the bee do? It went for Charles. And the king yelped in fright. That's kind of funny. Number nine, when asked about Prince Harry, it literally felt like the sky had fallen on the monarchy when Prince Harry and Meghan announced they would be stepping back from the roles as senior royals. But that was just the beginning. Their departure led to a rather public and very brutal feud between Harry and members of the royal family, particularly William and Charles. Not too long after the news dropped about Harry and Meghan giving up their roles, Camilla attended the 40th anniversary of the Prospect Hospice Swindon. As noted by Entertainment Tonight, a reporter shouted to her, will you miss Harry and Meghan, as she was leaving this event. Here's where things got awkward. She paused and smiled and said, of course, while walking away. The whole thing was pretty cringeworthy. Some people took to Twitter to express their thoughts on the awkward moment, with one saying that the body language doesn't match up. I'm gonna have to agree with that. Number eight, the difficult umbrella. We've all had fights with an umbrella, there's no doubt about it. Ever walk down the city streets of New York or Chicago during a rainstorm and your umbrella just refuses to open because of the wind? There's no graceful way to recover from that. And it turns out that even royals have to deal with particularly awkward incidents like those. As noted by the Daily Mail, Camilla and Charles were visiting Malta and as they stepped off their plane, their rather blustery conditions proved to be quite difficult for Camilla and her umbrella. As she joined her husband outside Inside the plane, Camilla was met by a huge gust of wind that basically forced her into fighting with her umbrella. She just could not get it to stay open. Luckily for her, a gracious man who was not her husband, might we add, helped her with the device and she successfully got off the plane and joined the crowd. Camilla's hair also got a bit tussled in the wind, but she walked it off like a pro. Number seven, the Queen and Camilla. Many of us know the late queen to be a small woman with colorful clothing and great hats, but she clearly knows how to stand her ground. By doing so, she helped to create a very awkward scenario with Camilla in December of 2020. As noted by Express, Camilla joined the queen, King Charles, and other senior royals in one of their first public appearances together. The untrained eye, the event at which people socially distanced, looked pretty normal. But body language ex expert Judy James explained that there was a lot of unspoken tension between the monarch and Camilla. According to James, Camilla stood in a very awkward stance, which was only heightened by the Queen's apparent confidence. James also noted that Queen Elizabeth spoke to the band that was playing as well as her family members, with one exception. The Queen actively chats to the band, engaging Charles in the conversation while Camilla stands back slightly with her rigidly placed arms suggesting an air of tension or awkwardness. James said, we wonder what was going on behind the scenes after that event ended. Number six, awkward hug. You don't have to be a fan of the royals to know that they're not the most affectionate bunch. Take Charles and Diane into consideration. At their peak, people thought that they were the picture of love and happiness, but if you look back at pictures, they seem to barely acknowledge each other, let alone show any kind of physical affection. While things seem to be a far rosier between Camilla and Charles, PDA is still rare, so when a fan from Korea hugged Camilla during a walk around Liverpool, she appeared shook. As noted by Hello Magazine, Camilla was visiting Liverpool and saying hello to the crowd when Monsoon Kim, a big fan, embraced the Duchess. I was so excited, I've never seen a member of the royal family before, she said. I was passing and heard the, the then prince and his wife were coming and decided to stay. I hope I wasn't wrong to give her a hug. Camilla's body definitely looked pretty stiff during the hug, but Kim revealed that the duchess said, nice to meet you after the brief embrace. Hopefully the awkward interaction didn't throw her too much. On to number five, awkward couple. There's a lot to be said about having such a public life. Camilla, especially in her proximity to King Charles, has been in the spotlight for decades, so the cameras really have captured her at her house 
happiest and most miserable. As noted by the Daily Star, the opening ceremony for the Commonwealth Games in 2018 captured what appeared to be a very down in the dumps Camilla, thought to be miserable and uninterested. If you don't believe us, you might take the word of a body language expert, Judy James. The expert in question told the Daily Star that the event saw Camilla looking anxious, reluctant, and lacking in balance. And she certainly appeared that way in most photos from that event. James even went as far as to compare Camilla to younger royals like William and Kate. Charles and Camilla appeared at times anxious and reluctant and lacking in any youthful bounce that could imply keenness. Unlike the current royals and the younger royals, they tend to have the effect of making you worried rather than happier. Yikes. Talk about awkwardness. Number 4. Tampon Gate How can we talk about Queen Camilla's awkward moments without bringing up the infamous Tampon Gate scandal? While not a caught on camera moment for Camilla, it is a caught on tape dilemma. And it's so dramatic that it had to be included. As noted by the mirror, Prince Charles and Camilla were romantically involved for ages and a secret recording of one of their phone conversations leaked. Cue Camilla Gate. We'll give you all the details. It was 1989, Charles and Diana were still married and Camilla was still married to Andrew. And the heir to the throne back then and Camilla were chatting on the phone about private time they wanted to spend together. We'll give you some of the more PG snippets from the conversation. Camilla says, I need you all week, all the time, to which Charles replied, I'll just live inside your trousers or something. It would be much easier. Yes, the future king of Britain, guys. The audio recording leaked in 1993 and was published in People with the headline, Charles and Camilla, the tape. Safe to say it was a very awkward look for those involved. Number three, Princess Anne and Queen Camilla. The royal family is all about stoicism and looking put together, but that steely demeanor may have gone a bit far on Princess Anne's part. One of her interactions with Camilla was beyond awkward. As noted by Express, Anne and Camilla were pictured together at a formal event. Body language expert Darren Stanton took a look at the interaction in question and immediately pointed to the awkward tension between the two women. Camilla's hands are not visible. This is a sign of slight anxiety and insecurity he said. Pointing to Camilla holding a small purse, he noted, holding her bag, Camilla's hand position, although taken in a single still shot, appears to be less confident than Princess Anne. Of course, Stanton pointed out Anne's strong personality as having been a factor, but the history between the two women should also be noted. Royal biographer Sally Beadlesmith told Vanity Fair that Anne and Andrew, Camilla's ex-husband, dated in the early 70s. Possibly a factor between the two women that still contributed to the icy tension between them. Number two, the tension-filled wedding. Weddings can come with heaps of stress and Charles and Camilla's was full of tension. First and foremost, Queen Elizabeth refused to attend the ceremony while she had given her formal approval for the couple to tie the knot. She did not show up at the actual wedding, making for a rather awkward turn of events. While many speculated that her lack of attendance was a sign she didn't approve of the marriage behind closed doors, it was reported the Queen didn't attend because she is the head of the Church of England and didn't want to publicly promote divorce and remarriage. Blanca Cobb, body language expert, told Geo News that Charles's sons, William and Harry, were visibly uncomfy during the wedding wedding and the photos, evident to pretty much everyone. William specifically was analyzed by Cobb and described as nervous, stiff, and plastered, as it was obvious that he was feeling some anxiety. As for the happy couple, it's hard to say exactly how they were impacted by the, all the drama, but but it couldn't have been the most painless experience. And finally, number one, Camilla and Kate. This awkward interaction might take the cake. As noted by the mirror, Camilla was spotted with Kate Middleton and Queen Letizia of Spain at an event in 2019. Sounds harmless so far. Just a couple of international royals gabbing, right? Wrong. Kate was accused of intentionally ignoring Camilla during her conversation with Letizia as the Duchess of Cornwall was pretty much left in the background of a conversation between the two royals. In the caught on camera moment, Camilla can be spotted trying to engage in conversation and seemingly butt in when she got an opportunity. At one point, Camilla even said something to Kate directly, but Kate just carried on talking with Letizia like Camilla wasn't there. Some people took to social media to point out the Duchess of Cambridge's behavior with one user writing that the video was awful. So was it awkward? 100% yes. Did Kate intentionally ignore Camilla? It's difficult to say, maybe she was just having a riveting conversation. Either way, it was not a cute look, but that is all for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Juicy World updates and news on your favorite celebrities. Comment what you think about Camilla, and I'll catch you next time on The Rich Life.